Hello, everybody, and welcome to Star vs. Superfan. I am so excited about this. I am Darren Karp, and this is where we put stars, you know, from your favorite shows like The Challenge against some of their most ardent superfans just to see who knows the show better. Today, we're quizzing them on a reality show that's been on the air for a whopping 35 seasons, recently renewed for a 36th season. I'm so excited about it. We got The Challenge with us today. So let's meet, our, let's meet our contestants who are going head to head in five rounds of trivia. For the stars today, I'm joined by two challenge vets that really don't even need an introduction, but we're gonna give them one anyway. We have Mark Long with us and Anissa Ferreira. I mean, truthfully, Anissa, you've been on so many seasons, we just know you as Anissa, you know what I mean? You're like Cher, you don't even need yeah. a last name. Exactly. No. You're a I, legend. I, mean, I, I guess. You're a legend. Yeah, it's kinda cool. Like, Mark Long, like that sounds great. They address me properly. They use first and last when they address me, gosh dang it. Yeah. It's the muscles they that we do. find intimidating, of course, of course. Well, you know, oddly enough, the challenge debuted back in 1999, which was an entirely different world ago. Mark, you were actually on that season. You're known as the godfather of the challenge. This show has given fans so many big moments, so many viral hits. It's right up there with professional sports, certainly now in 2020. Why do you think the show, Mark, just keeps getting bigger and bigger and better and better? Oh, man. I think, um, well, back in the day, I mean, obviously, when we did those beginning challenges, the, the fun was a big aspect of it, the nostalgic feel of just, you know, thinking back and, and hearing even, when I look back here, and just the songs that were played during the challenge, and it was just very light and fun. But as it evolved, the competitions got harder, the stakes got bigger, and the drama absolutely grew because... You know, back then we were we were playing for maybe fifty grand in a you know a Tempur-Pedic bet. Now it's a million dollars. So I mean, there's a lot of uh, you know animosity that runs through that house. So uh, it definitely the, when the stakes rise, the drama rises as well. So and then they they've added in the new UK folks, which I love. Um, but yeah, Anissa can speak on that. I mean, I'm sure it's very different from when it was you know 10, 15 years ago. Yeah, I mean, even like six years ago. Um, I mean, we had booze when we wanted it we had house parties like we were fun but it felt like a it felt like a family reunion almost like every time we came back like yeah you had your rivalries and people that you didn't like and collectively we probably didn't like a couple people but it's probably their fault not ours but we had fun and we were like a family we got over it we came back like we witnessed so much and even witnessed the growth of each other which is a wonderful thing and I think when of course, when Mark and I started it, well, he, Mark, you started it. Um, but when <laughs> we came in, you know, late 90s, early 2000s, we were the only ones, you know, we were the only ones doing what we were doing. Um, and I think that when the challenge was introduced, it was like, how do we get all of these people from real world on one show together, all these big personalities that weren't cast together? How do we get them on there, give them some money, you know, show their competitive side, you know, show the hookup, show the, you know, whatever, and see how that works. And I think it's just, you know, developed and flourished over the years. I do really love the old days. I wish they were back. Um, oh, don't you worry, Anissa. Oh, don't <laughs> you worry. <laughs> you are the old guy in the room here for you. Yeah. Well, you guys have been in so many challenges and stuff, and I wanted to introduce you to your biggest competition today. This will be harder than any final you've ever run because we have super fan Jake Rosen on the line. Now, Jake, you know, I don't know how old you are, but the challenge started in 1999. Were you born then, and how long have you been watching the challenge since? <laughs> I was born then. I would say I started watching, my first real season watching was Battle of the Season. So that was probably 2001, 2002. So it's been a, it's been a very long time. And, you know, I'm one of the people, Anissa, shouting you out on Instagram. People need to put a little bit more respect on your name. Yeah. So, there you go. The thing <laughs> I, the reason I love the show so much is I've seen Anissa compete for 15 years. I've seen her ups and downs. I know she got tackled by CT and got her ankle taken out. Like, people want to say, you know, she's given so much to this show through the years. So people need to give a little bit of a break before they start, start talking about, you know, especially with this past final with, the females with the amount of quitters it's I know Anissa you would not have quit if you were in that final you know Jake Anissa's not running the points here so no uh, kissing up to her all right because I am the oh, host of this show so it's not yeah. flattery's gonna get you nowhere with her okay Listen, 
it's, it's a pandemic. I'll take all the flattery. Say whatever right. you need. Fair <laughs> enough. All right, contestants, are you ready to get started? Because I am ready yes. to do this game. All right. Oh, let's do Round this. one, we have a little bit of true or false for you guys. It's pretty simple. You got a 50% shot of getting every question right, and everyone's going to play this. After I read the question, hold up your card until I ask you to reveal it because we don't want anyone cheating. For each correct answer you guys get, the contestant, you guys will get one point a piece. Pretty straightforward. Right. Here is question number one. True or false? The last season, the show was called Real World Road Rules Challenge with season 18, The Runes. Once you have it ready, hold up your sheet of paper. Let me know when you're ready. Mark, you are you ready? You guys are a little hesitant. All I'm right, re reveal your answers. We've got Mark with true, Jake with true, Anissa with false. The correct answer is true. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> I love funny, it. funny story about that. So. When I was younger, I always wanted to be on the challenge. So I interned at Buna Murray. And one of the parting gifts they gave me was this Real World Real Rules runes. Oh, you cheater. Oh, oh, how was I, to know that, how was I supposed to know that was the last season? I just know that there was one. Oh, you guys are in cahoots. No. <laughs> the Vix is in. Guys, plenty of time. Take my you know what, Jake? Just when I thought you were a winner. Uh oh. Right. See, Jake, what I tell you, no sweet talking. Yeah, you give the, the sweet talk, you already lose it. I already, all that sweet talk for nothing. Exactly. All right. All right, all right. question two, true or false? The first season to allow contestants that didn't debut on Real World or Road Rules was Cutthroat. Hold up your answer as soon as you're ready. Let me see everyone's paper in the camera. All right, reveal. Mark, we got false, false, and false. The correct answer is false. It was Fresh Meat season Woo! 12. All right. Right. Come on. Enough. I mean, I love an idiot. You know, I'm curious because you know nowadays in the challenge we've got you know Big Brother coming in, American Ninja Warrior. We've got X on the Beach. Are there any other reality shows that you guys want to see like join the challenge? Hmm. I would have loved if Jersey Shore did at some point. Oh yeah. So that just to bring back the fun, and I think that Polly would have been and Mike. They would have both would have been really. Um, competitive, and then Ronnie would have just been an asshole. <laughs> so I think <laughs> <laughs> so like that person yeah. cheated. I'm like, no, no, you lost. All right. Well, next question, guys. True or false? The last time a season of the challenge was based in the United States was 2004. The last time a season of the challenge was based in the United States was 2004. Flip them over, guys. We've got true, true, and true. The correct answer is true. Season nine, Battle of the Sexes, was in New Mexico. So good, good. I was there, baby. I was, I was there. <laughs> All right, guys. Next question. Right. This one's this one's an interesting one. True or false? T.J. Lavin has hosted twenty five seasons of the challenge. True or false? Get ready with your answers. All right, reveal them. You all look ready. We've got a true, a true, and a true. Yes, he has been hosting since season eleven. That is correct. True. Yes, Man, he's got the best job in the industry. Am I winning this thing yet? Am I winning I this thing yet? Still rose it in the leaves. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, true or false? Cara Maria, Jenna, Evelyn Smith all made their de debut on Fresh Meat Challenge. True or false? Cara Maria Sorbello, Jenna Campono, Evelyn Smith all made their debut on Fresh Meat Challenge. Flip over your right. answer. True. You're wrong, Mark. Ah! Jenna didn't, wow. right? Jenna did it. Jenna, God, I knew that. Why did I talk myself out of that? Jake is right. It is false. Jenna was first on Real World Explosion. Is I right. was I right, that. too. I'm here. Anissa, you were right. That just goes without saying. That just goes without saying. Sorry, Jenna. Sorry, Jenna. I knew that. Wrong. Yeah. I can be wrong. All right. Two more true or falses for you guys. True or false. The grenade was a twist that was introduced before a relic and a mercenary. All right. Nisa's got experience with this. All right, flip over your answers here. What do we got? We've got a false. Anissa says true. Mark says true. The correct answer is false. We got Damn Jake it. in the lead Jake. now. Mercenary. Remember when Sheena and CT were mercenaries back I, I in the came day? after. All right, boys, keep it clean. You ready? Let's go. 
mercenary was on cutthroat, then the oh, grenade was on vendetta. They're all the same challenge. Listen, I don't know the challenges that I'm not on. So I feel like Fair enough. a little weird. Uh, Damn, like it. About 13 Damn it. I've Fair enough. All right, last true or false, last 50-50's chance to get this right. The hall brawl in elimination was first on Battle of the Seasons, arguably the best challenge elimination round ever. Reveal your answers. What do we got going on here? False, true, and true. The correct answer is true. Anissa and Jake are walking away with an extra hold point. Hold on. I, I have, hold on. I have uh -oh. a, a, so I hosted Battle of the Seasons, the first one. And there was not a hall brawl on the first no, battle, the of the battle of the seasons. No, it was the battle of the seasons. What was the question? The hall brawl elimination was first on battle of the seasons. All right, boys, you ready? Oh, Go! Oh, 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 oh. Shit. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, everyone, that is the end of round one. I just want to recap the scores here, okay? Jake is in the lead with seven points. Anissa has five and Mark has four, but it's still anyone's game. Round two where we're gonna see who's following the challenge cast the closest on Twitter. Now, we know oh, there God. have been a lot of contestants through the year, so we have picked tweets from just six challenge OGs to make it a little bit easier. But before we get to that, Mark, you're personally reaching out to challenge OG cast members to get them on board for a two week show featuring only veterans of the show, is that right? Can you tell us about this campaign a little bit? Yeah, so I started a movement on, on social media, since it's so popular these days, with the fans at the beginning behind. Um, it's hashtag we want OGs. It's going to be a two-week because, obviously, people have careers now and families. It's going to be a condensed two weeks. I like to call it, like, a surreal life meets big brother meets where are they now. It's going to be fun. It's going to be competitive. We're going to go back to all those nostalgic challenges, like putting on speedos and melting ice with your ass. But there is going to be stakes enough so that people take it seriously. So... Someone could walk away with a lot of money. So I'm going to talk right about now with BMP and many other folks. So we'll see how it evolves. But people have really been getting behind it. Is there any OG that hasn't signed on yet that fans really want to see that you're trying for? Or is everyone pretty much amenable to doing it? So I had a conversation huh? with The Miz. Um, the Miz, as you know, has got 15 jobs right now. Um, mm -hmm. So he can't commit to anything. Um, I will keep him posted every step of the way. But um, he's been the only one that, you know, has has – kind of passed on it, not because he didn't think it was awesome, only because his schedule is just so crazy. And he's got the newborn now, so um, we'll definitely try to work the Miz in somehow, even if it's just a, uh, maybe come on and guest host one of the episodes. So um, definitely keep that movement alive. Hashtag we want OGs. Um, yes. And people are re really rallying behind it, so it's cool to see. All right, well, before we get in this next round, I just want to recap on the points so you guys know the hierarchy oh. here. Jake is oh, in the lead God. with seven. Anissa has five. And Mark... Pathetic four. Okay, yeah. Ah, it's all right. I went off the rails there First a little bit. First time I've I ever off. beaten Mark at anything. <laughs> I went off the rails there. All right, let's get into this next round is who posted it. After I read the tweet, hold up the card with the name of the person that you think tweeted it. For all each right. correct answer, you'll be receiving one point for this. All right? Okay, all right. so the first tweet is, quote, the hall brawl elimination has become a staple to our sport. One of the main reasons why this past episode was so great and a big reason why the challenge is regarded as America's fifth sport. Who posted this? When you're ready, just hold up your card. Oh, smart, clearly. Well, someone's smart here, obviously. All right, well, Mark is ready. Jake is ready. Anise is thinking about him. Flip him over. Who do we got here? Mark oh, said Derek, was Derek for Jake, Susie for Anissa. The correct answer is Derek. He said it. He was it talking was about so it. so well written. I didn't think it was Derek. <laughs> <laughs> he was actually talking about this season, Total Madness, that we saw the winners be Jenny and Rogan. And that one is the elimination I would never want to go into for sure. I would. That's Next awesome. up, quote, how do you challenge fans have any brain cells left after watching these confessionals? All right, uh, Nisa, you ready with your answer? All right, flip them over. Who do we got? We've got Susie, Laurel, and Laurel. The correct answer was Laurel. Good yes, job, Jim. All right. Yes. Coming back. Yeah. I'm coming Susie back, baby. Right, like, yeah. All right. Let's go. 
Jake, it's okay. You're going to be right, it's fine all right. with I'll this. Recover, you know? I'll recover. They're actually in the challenge, so you're, it's a little, you know. All right, this yeah. next, this is a tweet posted with a video of a tug-of-war elimination from last season, okay? Quote, ain't going to lie, my back hurts just from watching this. Ain't going to lie, my back hurts just from watching this, and it was a video of tug-of-war elimination from last season. Ready? Yep, I'm ready. Darrell, Darrell, Darrell. Correct, oh, correct. I guess we all know Darrell is a very bad back. That's what we've all learned, and there's a question oh, about yeah. that. All right, this next tweet. Hey, Johnny Bananas, can we make a blanket with a bunch of our picks on it? Who tweeted that? Ooh. Flip over your answers. I see you all ready for this. Go ahead. Go ahead. We Boom. got Mark, Mark, and Mark. Of course, it was the incomparable Mark, Damn of course. It. Points all around, points all around. He is. All right, I next I up. I throw oh. you guys off. You, you did good acting. I was like, I thought it was you, and then you kind of looked like you were stuttering, so I wasn't right. sure. The question is, yeah, though, Mark, enough. did you get that blanket made? No, of course not. All right, guys, the next quote. I must say, the bunk beds on The Bachelor look way more comfortable than the ones we have on The Challenge. That's definitely true, especially this season. <laughs> Uh oh, Nisa. What do you got? This quote, flip them over. What do we have here? Susie, Susie, Anisa. <laughs> Anisa. The only one correct is Anisa. She did ah! say. <laughs> Good Anisa. thing she, she knows her own tweets. Oh my She's God. All right. Good psych out. All right. Good psych I know, out. I do. I'm going to get poker. Good you can psych me out. Your face psyched me that out. That was good. She's got a good poker face. All right, guys, last Twitter battle here. Quote, uh -oh. sometimes I get sanctimonious on here, and then I remember I once rolled down a hill in a giant tire for the chance to win a T-Mobile sidekick, too. Nisa, <laughs> who would use that word? Let's be honest. Sanctimonious? All right. Yes. Flip it over. Who said it? Susie, Susie, Susie. That is correct. You're all correct on that one. Stop Only that Susie would say sanctimonious. Right. All right. All right. Well, we're moving on to the next round anyway, which is really good. Just to recap the scores here, Jake, you're at a strong 11 after two rounds. You should be pretty proud of that. Mark, you've come up to a full nine points now. And Anissa, you're at 10. So the placing still stays. We've got an easy 11, 10, and 9. It's anyone's game. So this is the round of finish the quote a little bit harder. We're going to see who can finish lines from this season of the challenge, Total Madness. So we're talking about the current season now. Will it be some of the cast who actually said them or the super fan who has watched it all unfold? Time will tell. The way you will buzz in is by lifting up your item on the screen. So let's see all of your buzzers right now just so we can get a hold of it. Of course, Mark's got him, Anissa with her mic, there you go. and Jake with a stress ball? Something? Okay, cool. Cool. dog ball. <laughs> I love that. Uh, and I'm Mark, sure not positive. Did, you, did, did you think that holding up your doll was going to give you more confidence in this game, buddy? Listen, two heads are better than one, my friend. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to yield some strength and some positivity and energy and, and intellect for my doll. All right, guys. So now that we all have your buzzles, the way it will work is the first person to buzz in by raising up their object in the screen will be able to answer first. If you're incorrect, any of the other contestants will have a chance to answer, and only one person will be able to earn a point per question. Okay? Makes sense? So right. speedness here is what we need. All right. Question number one. Let's start with the first quote. Johnny Bananas said, quote, everybody just knows if Wes and I are on the same season, it's going to be a blank from day one. How do we finish that? Johnny Bananas, uh, Anissa. It's going to be a... Uh, well, that's not correct. That is a true statement. Mark, you buzzed in next. What are you going to finish it as? I'm going to say it's going to be a battle from day one. <sighs> judges? Battle? Judges, is that gonna... not Jake, what are you going to say? I was going to say war. Uh... Everybody just knows if Wes and I are on the same season, it's going to be a battle royale from day one. Battle royale, which I need to oh, oh, yeah, at the end of it. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. A big word. Can't give it to you, buddy. All right, moving on. <gasps> Anissa said, Oh, Nani, the poisonous princess, the blank. Oh, Nani, the poisonous princess, the blank. 
What, did, Anissa, what did you say here? Kiss of death? Correct! You got it right! Oh, Nani, the poisonous princess, kiss of death. <sighs> All right! She's paying attention to her own quotes here, which is good. Oh, I feel All right, Anissa with the lead now. All right. Thank you, Anissa. No, you're tied what? with Jake, but you're leading the round, which is good. All right. Wes said, it's scary for the rest of the house because if this works, what we're able to do together is just blank. Jake, with Jake, was that a pump up fake yeah, out? No, All right, Jake, go ahead. Unfair. It's scary for the rest of the house because if this works, what we're able to do together is just not fair. I'm gonna give it to you, it was not fair. That counts. All go right. ahead, Jake, good job, good job. Thank All right, you guys are doing better than I thought at this. All right, not Ashley me. said this season, you never know what's going to come out of her mouth. Here we go. The truth about bananas is I've made more money than him, and I do better at blank than him, and I think he's scared of me. Jake, go ahead. Politicking? The truth about bananas is I've made more money than him, and I do better politicking than him, and I think he's scared of me. Correct. Nice. Damn, Jake. All right. I mean, Mark, are you, Jake. Are you, are you okay oh. there, buddy? All right, Listen. let's see. I think it's an easier fake buzzer. That's what it is. Mine's so heavy. It's like <laughs> that's what it is. That's what it is. I mean, Mark has no excuse here. Here's the last I'm so one. So close. Here's the last I'm one. So for these, uh, things, I mean, CT said, "I think if I want to continue to compete at a high level in this game, I need to blank." I think. Go ahead, Anissa. Train. What Are did you train? train? No. Uh, not work out. Work. Train. Jake or Mark. Jake? Lose weight? No, not lose weight. Mark, what's your answer? Exercise? <laughs> I think if I want to continue to compete at a high level in this game, I need to give myself a tune-up. Give myself a oh! tune-up. So close. So close. It's okay. It's okay. I love this, though. This is good. This is good. We're all learning about it. At the end of this round, here is how the point totals go. We have Jake with 13, Anissa at 11, and Mark with nine. Still anybody's game, though. We're going to move on to round four. No one is out of the game yet because this is your chance to earn double points for the correct answer in the buzzer round, okay? So there's going to be three questions, each worth two points apiece. Just like the last round, you're going to hold up your buzzer. Anissa, I know, but you're also stronger than the other two, so I feel like it makes up for it, so I feel like you'll be fine. I'm just going to use a highlighter. Yeah, oh, yeah. there we go. Okay, so first person to buzz in gets to answer. If they are incorrect, the other two contestants will get a chance. Let's get started. Okay, question number one. Name the male contestant and female contestant who have made the most appearances on the challenge. Mark. I'm going to go A, Johnny Bananas. And I'm going to say B, Anissa. Incorrect. Uh, uh, who had it first? I don't know who had it first between the two of you. Ooh, you know what? I'm going to give it to Anissa. Just kind of give it to Anissa. Go ahead, ladies, ladies first. first. Uh, Anissa. Johnny Bananas and Cara Maria. Correct. All right. Double the points. Double the points. Make Question number two. Better. Name all challenge champions who have won back-to-back -back seasons. Jake? I'm going to, ooh, I'm going to say Johnny Bananas and Darrell and Veronica. Uh, that is incorrect. You have some correct answers there? in there, though. How many people are there? There was actually, my producer just said there's actually six people. Go ahead, Anissa. I'll let you take it. Johnny Bananas, Jordan, Jarrell. Oh, wait, CT and how many, how many is that? Four? Four. Mm -hmm. CT, did I say Veronica? CT, Veronica, Bananas, Jordan, Jarrell. Jarrell. One more. And Ashley. Not fully hey. correct. Mark, do you hey. have a guess here? Hey. Yeah, all the ones she just named, minus Ashley. And I'm going to plug in, rather than an Ashley, I'm going to plug in 
a car Maria? The correct answer is Durrell. He won season seven and eight. Veronica also won seven and eight. Landon won 10 and 11. Oh, yeah. Evan Starkman, 17 and 18. Tyler had 20 and 21. And Johnny Bananas had 21 and 22. I could have had all year oh. and not gotten that way. All right, guys. I'm going to name five challenge champions through the years, and I want you to put them in chronological order of their first wins. So, for example, Eric Nyes won his first challenge in season one, and Abram won his first challenge in season eight, okay? So you would say Eric before Abram, even though Eric won again in season nine, okay? Does that make sense? Yeah, first wins. So the five challenge champions that I need you to put in order are Johnny Bananas, Wes Bergman, Coral Smith, Veronica, and Mark Long. Jake? I'm going to go Veronica, Mark, Coral, Wes, Johnny. So uh, close, but incorrect. Mark, go ahead. I'm going to go exactly what he said, but swap out Mark before Veronica. So you're going to go Mark, Veronica, Coral, Wes, Bananas? Correct, yes. buddy. Oh, Correct. Oh. He has Damn, slight I'm advantage back. there, Jake. Slight advantage. I'm back. He's back, so back baby. All right, so to calculate these scores before we get into the final round, Jake, you are tied with Anissa at 13, and Mark, you're trailing just a touch with 11 points, okay? So 13, 13, and 11. It's time now for the final round. This will be a wager round, okay? So all of you guys will have the same question and you can wager plus or minus the points that you have, okay? So Jake, you have 13, you can raise a max of 13. Nice, the same thing. Mark, you have 11, okay? Each contestant, yep. you need to put your wager on a blank piece of paper in front of you right now. So you put it in before I even ask the question, how confident you're feeling about this. Don't show us your wagers. Don't show it to us. That's got to be kept hidden. Just put it on the side just so I know you can't change your answer. Okay. I've written it down. I've written okay. it down. All right. Now that you've written down your wager, I will read the question. You have 30 seconds to answer this. Please write it below your wager. Okay. The All challenge right. is always coming up with new names for eliminations. For example, on the current season, it's called Purgatory. I'm going to name eight past seasons, and you have to name the title of those eliminations and put them in chronological order from the first time we saw them. We need more than 30 seconds. That's rude. Maybe I'll do 45 because, Anissa, I love you. You're one of my favorites. 45. I'll give you 45. I'll give you 45. 45. I'm write down okay. all the names of the seasons first. Yeah. Here's the name of the eight seasons. You're going to want to write these down. We've got Rivals, we've got Invasions of the Champions, War of the Worlds, Fresh Meat, Vendettas, Battle of the Exes, Cutthroat, and Battle of the Bloodlines. Time is on the clock. I will have the producers tell me when the time is up. You guys have 45 seconds and all will be okay. Don't worry, I believe in you. I know I'm not TJ Lavin, but I know you guys can do this. Thinking about it. Oh, I don't want to, you know, smart. I don't want to confuse. I was going to talk to you guys, but I don't want to. No, shush. I got nothing. Exactly. See? See? All right. Time's up. I'm, you have another, Mark, like. You know all these? All right. You got a few seconds left here. Final 10 seconds. Final 10. And... No shady business. Mm -mm -mm. Show your hand. Everyone shows the, their hand. Time is up. Markers down. Hands down. Okay, Mark, show me your answers. What we got. How much did you wager? And what is your answer? I played smart. I risked zero and went hashtag we won OGs. Very zero points. Than what I did. What's Very smart. smart. Than what I did. Okay, Mark's playing it easy, but you know, also promotional, so it makes sense. It's for a good cause, a good thing. Uh, hey, it's Anissa, not easy, it's strategic. It's strategic, I get it. it. It's a good ploy. Anissa, reveal your answers. You wagered eight Wager points. Wagered eight. I messed up, so it doesn't matter. Are you sure because you messed up? I only have one name of them on there. 
It's a, you know what? It, it, what one did you know though? Wait, is Battle of the Exes the dome? Battle of the Exes is the dome. dome. Yeah. It is the dome. Thank you. I was right. You got that dome. one right. All right, Jake, super fan. Yes. Tell me I, your I, tell me at I, least yeah, tell me your I, guess. I ran out of time. I wagered three. I put everything in the correct order. You but wagered I didn't nine. Have, but no. I did not have a chance to write any of the elimination. Where's your wager? I don't see it. Three. But three it, points. It, All right. Fresh meat. Any guesses of what it was called? Exile? No. Exile is correct, Anissa. Yes. Cut, right. Cutthroat. That one was the gulag. Rivals was the jungle. Battle yeah, of the, yeah. was the dome. Ooh. Battle of the bloodlines was next with the pit. Oh, An oh, invasion yeah. of the champions was the fortress. Vendettas was the ring. And war of the worlds was the killing floor. Okay, we have the final scores here. Shockingly enough, here's how it ended up. Anissa has five points, Jake has 10. And our winner today, the OG of OGs, was Mark with 11 points. The Godfather takes it again, my yeah. God. Anissa, Mark, Jake, thank you all three for playing really today. You guys are amazing. I can't wait to see at least Anissa come back to some more challenges because she has some work to do and I believe that you can win a final. I absolutely believe it. Jake, maybe there's room for you to join. Mark, I mean, come on, you got to come back and at least. Only you know. if we have trivia on the show. Listen, we need. <laughs> I mean, it's all right there, guys. It's all right there. We want Hashtag OGs. we want OGs. Thank you all three for being a part of it. And thank you fans thank you for watching the challenge and this as well. Thanks, guys. guys. Let's go. Thank you.